Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a simple budget sheet and demonstrate how the most common functions are used, such as sum, average, max, min, and count. So first of all, I'm going to type in cell B2, M-O-N, short for Monday, and then I'm going to pull that across so it puts in the days of the week for me, all the way across to Friday. And then there, I'm going to type total, and then I'm, in column A, I'm going to put my categories, so car, tax, gas, um, bills, and that'll do. And then underneath that, total, average, max, min, and count. If I highlight all of this area, just to put borders on it, so I'll put all borders on it just so it stands out a little bit, all borders, that one, and then title in cell A1, weekly budget, which I want to merge across the top, like that, so merge and centre, you've got merge and centre cells there, so that's nice and neat, and I'm going to colour this area where the data is, just going to colour that yellow, or orange, let's go for orange, orange. Now if I put some figures in there, if I put 10 and let's pull that across and let's say it just goes up by one each day and then if I put 10, 15 and then just highlight those two and pull over the 15 you'll see that that should step by 5 which is the default for Excel as well and then let's just do that again, let's go 5 and then 10 so you just give the step value, type the step value, highlight the two, pull it over, like so. And then let's say the bills are just £10 every day. So click out of that, just pull it over. So those are the figures. Now I want all of these figures to be in pounds. So up on the ribbon there, you've got a little button that's quite hard to see, but allows you to select different currency types there. So pounds is default. Now, the key command to add up figures in Excel and Calc is Alt and Equals. That will do that. Now, if I highlight this little column there and do Alt Equals again, it will drop them in there. It hasn't formatted it, so I'll just pick that up so it does that. So 295, if I highlight all of this orange area, 295, it says, is the total. Down the bottom here, you can see it's saying sum 295. That's just a ready reckoner for yourself, so that is correct. Now, the average function, max, min, and all the rest of them, if you click on the little down arrow next to the sum function, now I use the key command, alt equals, but you've got these formulas, or functions, should I say, here. These are the most common ones. So you've got average, max, min, and count. Uh, so... What I want here is the average function. Now, if you know what the syntax is, you can type it. So this is going B7, B7, but I don't want that. I want this list here, B3 to B6, tick. And then this next one's going to be max. Drop the arrow down, select max, B8, B8. Nope. Highlight the orange area, B3 to B6. Yep. And then the next one is going to be min. If I highlight that down, select min, select the range like so, B3 to B6, tick, and then count how many items are in that list. So count, and then you highlight that list, B3 to B6, tick, there are four. So then I can highlight these four formulas and then pull it over like that. Now, if you want to do that like a percent, if I do a percent symbol, this is going to introduce a slightly different feature. And obviously this bottom row that I've just created hasn't got the borders on, so I'll just click the borders on, or borders for that bottom one. So let's say you want to know what the percentage, if I just highlight this total row, change that colour to light green or something. So like so this 35 pound, what is that as a percentage of the total at the end, the 295? The formula is this, it's not a function, it's equals 35 cell, which is B7, divided by the total cell, which is G7. 
I'm just going to tick that for a minute. I'll get a number less than one. Now, all I need to do is format that to a percent, and that tells me it's 11.86%. Now, that's great, that's right, that's correct. But when I pull that over, I'm getting this div zero message. That's because if you click on this cell, it is looking at H7, and H7 is a blank column, so it's just moved across. If I just color this, I just color that, it's just moved into that blank green cell, which is where it naturally does. What you have to do, that's a relative reference, what you have to do is lock um, the G7, and the way you lock cells in Calc and Excel and Google Sheets is the F4 function key, or you can type dollar signs. I actually only need a dollar sign in front of column G. I've actually got them in front of row 7 as well, but it doesn't matter. If, if you're going across, it still will work. If I tick that, and then pull that over, hey, presto, it works. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video. To get you started using LibreOffice Calc, you, basic functions, sum, average, max, min, and count, and then a quick look at how to do percentages with using the dollar sign. So hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.